first things first, this is pronounced as slashes. The name reflects the syntax quite well, but it also makes it difficult to search for. Slashes is a minimalistic programming language. In fact, it is probably the most minimalistic programming language on the entire planet. It was created by Tanner Sweat, and it only contains one basic operation, string replacement. A replacement begins with a slash. What follows the slash is the pattern that will be replaced, which ends with a slash. What follows that slash is the replacement, which is followed by an octothorpe. Just kidding, it's followed by a slash, which marks the end of the replacement. Once the replacement is completed, any instances of the pattern are replaced. So in this program, any instances of goodbye are replaced with hello. A second string replacement replaces the word world with the word YouTube. When the program encounters a character outside of a replacement, that character is simply printed, with the exception of slashes. So in this example, hello YouTube will be printed onto the screen. So if this string was moved, say, here, it would be printed before the world would be replaced with YouTube, right? So hello world would be printed? Yeah, that's right. Oh! I honestly thought I was going to be told that I was wrong! By the way, the simplest Hello World program in Slashes is this, which is still longer than the one in HQ9+. Now because this language is so simple, it's pretty difficult to actually do anything with it, especially looping, so the programs I will be writing will be quite simple as well. An easy challenge that I came up with was a program that converts base 1 numbers represented by asterisks into Roman numerals. The first part of this program will set up an organizational feature that many of the example programs use. When a closing bracket is followed by a new line and an opening bracket, it will be replaced by absolutely nothing. This allows you to make your code more readable by surrounding replacements with square brackets, as well as allowing new lines to exist in the source code without them being printed out. The first replacement replaces an asterisk with an I. Slashes has no ability to take an input, so the last line of the program will be treated like the input. So right now, all this does is replace asterisks with eyes! LAME! Carl, this is unfinished. Be patient. The next replacement will replace five eyes with a V. The one following that will replace four eyes with IV. The next one replaces BV with X. The next one after that replaces VIV with IX, and so on, all the way up to M. Now when you run the program, a Roman numeral is outputted based on the number of asterisks between these two square brackets. Well, that's less lame, but can you take in two Roman numerals, add them together, and output a new Roman numeral? Basically, I'm asking you to make a calculator, so do subtraction too, why not? To create a calculator that inputs and outputs Roman numerals, it would be easier to take an input, convert it into asterisks, perform the operation, and convert it back into Roman numerals. Also, to make things simpler, input will be taken in as lowercase Roman numerals, and output will be in uppercase Roman numerals. Now I know that in intercal, if you ever had lowercase Roman numerals, it would mean that you were somewhere in the millions, but guess what? This isn't intercal! I'm done with that! Converting Roman numerals back into asterisks is just taking the other conversion and reversing it. CM is converted into DCD, M is converted into DD, and so on, with V being converted to five I's at the end. Lowercase i is then simply switched over to an asterisk. Now assuming we are adding, we now have a bunch of dots each holding the value of 1 with a plus in the center. Now how do we combine these dots? Gee, I really wonder how we're going to combine these dots. I mean, dude, stop dragging this out. You just remove that stupid plus. After the plus is removed, the asterisks are then converted back into uppercase Roman numerals using the method from the previous program. The user can also subtract if they put a minus here. A minus followed by an asterisk will be replaced by an exclamation point. If there is an exclamation point next to an asterisk, both the exclamation point and the asterisk are replaced by exclamation points. After all the asterisks in the second term are replaced by exclamation points, the next replacement occurs, where an asterisk followed by an exclamation point is replaced by... NOTHING! So now both addition and subtraction exist in this program. Time to run it! Also, if you subtract into the negatives, the program will yell at you in base 1. Lastly, I made a program that does multiplication. The first term is accepted here, and the second one is accepted here. The splitting up of the terms makes the program easier to write. Also, input is taken in as asterisks instead of Roman numerals to further simplify things. Because Slash's code is self-modifying, I will be going through the program like the interpreter would. The line currently highlighted in blue is the one that the interpreter is looking at. Term 1 is preceded by a comma, and term 2 is preceded by a period. When a period is followed by an asterisk, it is replaced by a dollar sign. A dollar sign followed by an asterisk is replaced with two dollar signs. This effectively converts the entire second term into dollar signs. That's a lot of times I needed to say the word dollar sign. A comma followed by an asterisk is replaced by an exclamation point followed by an octothorpe. If you're wondering why I'm using octothorpes, it's because octothorpe is fun to say. 
Next, any asterisks next to Octothorps are converted to Octothorps, effective for replacing all the asterisks in the first term with that symbol. So now, term 1 has been converted into Octothorps, and term 2 has been converted into dollar signs. After that, the exclamation point is replaced by a different replacement. A backslash will add the following slash to the pattern or replacement instead of treating the slash like a normal slash, allowing you to replace strings with replacements themselves. The new replacement will replace dollar signs with the sequence of octothorps defined in term 1. The new replacement is also why this seemingly random slash is here. When each dollar sign is replaced with term 1, we effectively perform multiplication. All that's left to do now is replace the octothorps with uppercase size and run the Roman numeral conversion. If you want to try out slashes yourself, it can be found on tio.run. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!